Up next on Live It Up, I have three fantastically talented musicians. I have Gene Cornish, Billy, and Bobby Alessi, all Hall of Famers. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. Welcome to the show. Oh, happy to be here. So you are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm in two Hall of Fames, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, the big one, and uh, I was honored in my hometown of Rochester, the Rochester Hall of Fame, with uh, Chuck Manjone and Cab Calloway and Lou Graham and a bunch of people. Uh, I got it. I'm very lucky. I'm very. And you're blessed. in the Long Island world. No, not yet. Not, no, yet. not yet. Oh, see, but, <laughs> but you brought are. them into the. Yeah, but you you were honored, right? And and Gene talked about you that night. Yeah. So the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll nominate you for I that. I indicted them. Then. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a call to, later this afternoon. We'll see what we can do about yeah. that. So welcome to the show, fabulous Thank musicians. Thank you for having us. And I don't even know where to start, but. Obviously, let's talk a little bit about the Rascals. Uh, rascals, and then you had a reunion, so let's uh, talk about that. That's enough. Oh, come on, get up, <laughs> and over, and scene. Uh, well, the Rascals, uh, from 1965 to 1970, were together. Um, we were fortunate enough to have 17 hit, hit singles, eight gold and platinum albums, and ironically, our record label said we were lazy in five years to make that much. But then we had a sort of a little disagreement for 42 years, and we didn't work. As Steve Van Zandt from Bruce Springsteen's uh, band, uh, his dream, since he was a teenager, seeing us in 1966, wanted to put us back together. He finally talked us into it, and uh, we checked all our guns at the door, and we came to work, and we got along marvelously. It was like, God, what do we do? We wasted uh -huh. all this time. We did 15 shows on Broadway, sold out. 10 shows sold out in Toronto, and then we traveled the country. Uh, we did the, the View for Whoopi Goldberg's birthday, and because of the Broadway appearance, we did so well that they brought us on to Tony's. So we did, we, we did 11 months on the road, and then we took off this year, and uh, next week, our managers are actually having big level meetings to discuss our 50th anniversary tour this year. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And if you, if you named one Rascal song, like you said, there were so many of them, but could you just tell me like your baby favorite, just your favorite? You can't do that. Come on, that's just like, pick that's one like today. If you have children. Okay, how about your favorite of today? Just for today. Well, uh, I, I'm partial to good loving because it's the real raw rascals before we started writing ourselves. And of course, the songs are written by Eddie Brigatti and Felix Cavalieri. And those, they're in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, by the way. And I'm so proud of them for that. And uh, good loving because it, uh, it still holds up. It's one of those three chord babies, you know, three chord wonders, where it's like Louie Louie and uh, Twist and Shout and La Bamba. And uh, it's a frat house favorite, and uh, we didn't write it, but, we, but it was done by the, uh, by the Olympics originally. But that's the one that sold the most. Between the record selling itself in 65 and all of the soundtracks and all the movies we're in, we're up to about 65 million copies so far. It's a beautiful, I beautiful wish I journey. I wish I would have written it. <laughs> it's a beautiful journey. And how did you guys start working with Gene? Um, well, he, like he said, he inducted us into the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. And um, we became friendly, and he would come to some of our gigs and jump on stage with us, because yeah. and we would honor him and do good loving. Yeah, we did in our seventh grade talent show. We did good loving, <laughs> and we won the talent show. And we won, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did? My yeah. God, I bet you did it better than us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. This, what a fun this, I must say, first of all, I got to tell you that I'm a big Everly Brothers fan, because I started rock and roll when, in the beginning, uh, when I was when I was 12 years old and 56, and discovered Elvis. And these guys, you know, blood always sings great. The Eddie Brigatti and David Brigatti, the Alessi brothers to me are f just the greatest. And, and I had to have them in the show with me. Uh, you know, uh, Billy plays organ, Bobby plays guitar, and it does a little dancing. <laughs> 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 and uh, and they're, they're perfect for the show, because you know, the rascal is so, so well known for harmonies, and that they bring such such greatness to the table. I'm we were totally so honored, honored that, that he asked yeah. us to, to do it. So we, fun. He said, let me think about it. Yes, we'll do it. <laughs> and you hand-selected a couple of other people, too. Somebody from Wings. I've Tell us about the, the group. I've got the drummer from Wings, okay. Steve Holly, who was with Wings for five years, and is with Ian Hunter now all over touring. I've got the bass player from Elephant's Memory that played with the Plastic Ono Band and John, John Lennon. And the lead singer we have with us is Phil Nero, uh, who uh, was with Peter Chris's Army and a group called Talus with Billy Sheen. And he's the lead singer on my first solo project, of which the brothers are going to appearing on it and all that. So 
it's a well-rounded show. It's a storytelling show, actually. Uh, tell, uh, they, they titled it, I guess it was titled, uh, my, Li uh, my Life in the Rascals and Beyond. So I get to talk about my beginnings, uh, my Dwayne Eddy, my Dwayne Eddy Scott, uh, uh, Scotty Moore days, my James Burton influences that still influence me today. Um, and then I talk about the Unbeatables going from Rochester to Joey D and the Starlighters with the Peppermint Twist to the Rascals. And then eight years of not playing music because of disco. And, and then coming back <laughs> la uh, last year and, and seeing how many wonderful fans, overwhelming, overwhelming, you know. When the curtain would come down, and you could see the look on the people's faces, they'd go, wow, they're, re they're really here. But the rascals were all saying, wow, the fans are really here. And it's just, w w we wasted a lot of time. We're not going to waste it anymore. It's so fabulous. And, and music links you to certain memories. And I think that's oh, what yeah. it is, too. Yeah. It's yeah. the songbook of our life, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, oh, yeah. I think that's uh, what you guys are really known for. Oh, I had dinner with Phyllis Cavallari, the lead singer, last night from the Rascals. And the stars were telling each other, we, we couldn't eat. We were just laughing, laughing so hard. And then we, then we, we, we spoke of, uh, of future possibilities. So just, I, all I can say for the, for, for the fans out there who are hoping, we are hoping too. So keep, stay tuned. Uh -huh. And uh, maybe we'll come back on this show and then talk about futures. I would love that. I love the inside scoop from you guys. So now you're going to be touring all over the place and we're going to have a listing of where you're going to be. I know um, the Bolton Center, you're going to be in Cleveland. You're going to be everywhere, well, right? The Bolton Center is our first show. That's January 30th at 8 o'clock and there are some tickets left. So we'd, we'd love you to come down and see it and share my stories and share the music that me and the boys will all do together. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cooperative thing. You know, It's not just about me. It's about all of us, and, and, and Long Island, too. It was very, very, very appropriate that my first show would be in Long Island because that's where the Rascals got their first break in, in Quag, in the Hamptons, at the Barge, 65. You know? So we were, we were sort of uh, unofficially credited with starting, quote, the Long Island Sound. So, ah. and, I, and I'm hoping that someday the Long Island Hall of Fame will recognize that because we're not from Long Island and maybe give us an honor or something. something a medal or a gold watch or something. <laughs> <laughs> or a pop chart, you know, who knows. Watch something. <laughs> Another gold record. Well, Long Island became such a hotbed. When, when the wrestlers came out, uh, of course, the whole English invasion was there. And then they had the birds in California and a couple of other acts and the Beach Boys. But when we, when we, when we hit it big, everybody focused on Long Island. There was the rich kids, the illusion, the vagrants, the hassles with Billy Joel. Uh, many, many bands. You know, uh, and, and and the vanilla fudge, so the, so it's amazing the talent that comes from Long Island. And these guys, these guys, you got these guys are heroes in Europe too. Why don't you tell them a little bit about what you do in Europe? Um, we had success. We recorded um, the, uh, Alessi Brothers, and we sold 14 million records worldwide. Started in England and then went on to um, Holland and Germany and France and Japan. And we got to go to all those places. And we have one, one record in particular, Oh Lori, which yeah. became an evergreen, as you, you mentioned. And well, every time we go to Europe, you know, unfortunately our fans are aging with us. But sometimes you'll see like a beautiful girl come up for an autograph and she'll say, and we'll say, oh, what's your name? Oh, sign up for my dad. He loves you guys. <laughs> uh, she's she's a, her she's dad's a, name is Lori? She's a she's a, she's, I say, I say, what's, your, what's your name? And she goes, Frank. <laughs> my dad's going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and also jingles. I mean, I, I, I just oh, want to touch yeah. upon that, too. You've written so many jingles that have gone with so many wonderful products over the years. So yes. thank you for sharing all your musical talents with us. Thank you. And I know you're going to play for yeah. me, right? For, yeah. Not just me, but... Just for you. <laughs> I just, just for me. Play just for me. <laughs> well, we thought, we thought the perfect song to play uh, would be Groovin'. Okay. Okay. Let's groove. Let's groove on over there right. and uh, we'll take a listen. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Bada boom. Bada boom. Here we go, guys. 